Hi, are you looking for new ways to create texture in your acrylic paintings? Well, I just recently came across one process I found most unusual, and I'd love to share it with you. And all you'll need is a water-based polyurethane or a water-based varnish, gesso, and a hair dryer. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'm Maureen, and I love sharing what inspires me as an artist and some of the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. Now I'm going to take you over to my art table and we'll get started on that unique kind of texture. So let's get started. Now I've chosen to work on a wooden cradle panel that measures 12 by 12 and it's already been gessoed. And I have my water-based polyurethane and a bunch of card stock that I use to paint the gesso and the polyurethane with. So I'm laying down the gesso and I put on a very generous amount of uh, the polyurethane and I spread it all over the panel with my cards. And actually the more polyurethane probably the, the better you'll get deeper cracks that way in your texture. So now I'm taking the, uh, the hair dryer and blow drying all of that polyurethane and gesso and you can see that the gesso and the polyurethane are pulling apart and that's due to the heat. Now I'm going to begin my first layer of paint and I put a generous amount of polyurethane on and I'm going to begin with the yellows. I'm going to work from yellow to red and uh, I don't want it real bright but so I mix two different colors of yellow and then I'm going to take more these, uh, I've cut up my cardstock into small pieces. And I'm going to, first I mix up the paint, and then I'll take the cardstock, and I just, you know, glide it over the panel all the way to the bottom. Okay, that's my underneath layer, and all the other colors are going to go on top of that. But you'll see how the yellow goes into those cracks and they're going to become a permanent part of the texture of this painting. And I just even it out as much as I can. And sometimes I see, you know, you get unusual lines and you like them or you don't, and you just keep going over it until you decide it looks right. right? We all know what that looks like. Anyway, uh, so then you dry it again with the hair gun, and it doesn't matter if it splits open because that's how we create the texture. And the more splits, then the more deeper colors you're going to see when you put the next layer on. The, that layer is going to go down, that color layer will go down into the cracks. So I'll make sure it's nice and uh, dry, or at least dry to the touch. And then I'll start with my uh, next color, which is going to be the orange. And from here on, I'll probably just uh, let you know when a new color is starting, and I won't talk so much. <laughs> So here comes the um, orange color with the polyurethane again. Now that I have all the layers down that I want to from the yellow to the deepest red, 
you can see the many cracks in the surface of the painting and how the darker colors go down into those uh, places where the gesso split. Just offering a really different um, kind of feel to the painting technique. And then now I'm just mixing up color inside the polyurethane in these little cups that I can work from. And I'll put those down and then I take the cards again and I just smooth it all out until again it looks right. Now, we all know what that means, right? <laughs> it's too funny. Everybody has a different way of looking at things. But I try to do it to where it's pleasing to my eye. The last step in the painting is to fill in the rest of the drips off the sides. And as I went along with the painting, I did do dripping. I just uh, put the card over the edge and the excess paint would drip down. However, that doesn't totally um, cover it. So I like to get rid of the white of the panel board and I'll go back and put in more drips by um, and just going around all four edges and trying to make the drips correspond with the um, paint that's up on top so that it looks like a natural um, drip. I just think it's a really fun way to uh, finish off the sides of the, um, the panel so that it then can be hung. And I'll go all the way around and that will finish the painting off and, um, and then I'll seal it with um, a coat of polyurethane and of course it's water-based. And that's how you get the textures inside these um, abstract painting, if you like that look, the cracked look. Now it's time to put the last layer, the sealer la layer of polyurethane on top. And I just pour it on. I don't use a brush. I'm going to take the card and just smooth it over the entire surface of the painting. And it just gives it that look of being almost like a glassy pond, or a glassy pond, or 
Oh, I don't know. Anyway, you know what I mean. It just gives it that nice uh, smooth look all the way across, across it. And I hope you got some good content out of that video. And I hope that you'll leave a comment below telling me about some of your own uh, processes in creating texture. Now, if you want to keep up to date on all my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now.